types of ethane systems. Basically, ethane is the connection of all exposed metal parts of electrical equipment in an electrical wiring to the general mass of earth. This is done by means of a wire of negligible resistance that is normally referred to as earth wire. Ethane brings the potential of the metal parts of an electrical equipment to zero volts and that protects the users of such equipment against electrical shock. To ensure proper operation of protective devices and for safety of users, ethane arrangements for electrical installations must be done properly. In this video, I will explain everything you need to know about the various types of ethane systems available and the best choice for your wiring. Types of ethane systems. The IEC 60364 distinguishes three major types of ethane systems using the two letter codes TN, TT, and IT. But the TN here represents TNS, TNC, and then TNCS. And so practically, we can say there are five types of ethane systems that are used worldwide. Now, let's look at what these letters actually mean. T means Terra. Terra is a Latin word which means it. I means isolated. N means neutral. S means separate. And C means combine. So, we now know what each of these letters stand for. But how do they combine together? And what do their combinations mean? The first letter denotes the source of power from a star-connected winding. And if the first letter is T, then it means that the star point of the source is solidly connected to it. And if the first letter is I, it means the star point of the source or the star point of the transformer is not directly connected to it. And the second letter refers to the consuming equipment that needs to be earthed. In this case, the consumer installation. Now, let's look at each of the earthing systems and how they work. We will first look at the TN system, which comprises of the TNS, the TNC, and the TNCS then followed by the TT system and then the IT system. In the TNS ethane system, the neutral conductor and the protective ethane conductor are separate conductors throughout the entire installation. So, if the ethane system provided by the Power Distribution Authority is a TNS system, this means that you will have five wires supplied to your house. That's L1, L2, L3, neutral, and then protective air. And for a single phase supply, you will have three supply cables, and that will be line, neutral, and air. And in this system, the consumer does not need to bury any earth rod for the installation. You just have to connect your earthing system to the main earth that has been provided by the supply authority. Now, the TNC earthing system. With the TNC system, the neutral and earth functions are combined in a single conductor called pen conductor. Pen means protective earth and neutral throughout the entire installation. All exposed metal parts of the installation are connected to the pen conductor. In this system, the pen conductor is effed at multiple points 
and an earth electrode may be necessary at or near the consumer installation. But this system of earthing poses some safety concerns to the consumer, and I will be talking about that in another video in details. As a matter of fact, Regulation 8 and Section 4 of the Electrical Safety, Quality and Continuity Regulations specifically prohibits consumers from combining the neutral and protective functions in their installations. This essentially bans the use of the TNC system within consumer installations in the UK since 2002. Then we move to the TNCS ethane system. In the, TN, in the TNCS ethane system, the neutral and the earth are combined as a single conductor in a part of the system, but is split into separate neutral and protective earth conductors at a certain point. So, all along from the supply source, there is only one conductor serving the functions of both neutral and protective earth, but at a point, it splits into separate neutral and earth conductors. In this system also, an earth electrode may be necessary either near or at the consumer installation, but that provision is made by the Power Distribution Authority. The TT Ethane System In the TT Ethane System, the neutral point of the power source is directly connected to it, and all exposed conductive parts of the consumer installation are also directly connected to it independently. The neutral and ethane conductors in this system must be separate throughout the installation because the power supply distributor only provides the supply neutral to the consumer. In this system, when an earth fault occurs in the wiring, the earth now serves as the return path for the fault current, the IT system. With the IT system, is either there is no earth at the source of supply, or the connection to earth is done through a high impedance connection. The basic feature of the IT system is that, in the event of a fault between phase and earth, the system can continue operating without any interruption. And this system is mainly used for installations where a high level of continuity of service is required. The system relies on insulation monitoring devices to detect any faults in the system. All right. So, if you followed carefully, you would realize that the choice of the type of earthing system to use for your installation is strictly dependent on the type of earthing system arrangement that is provided by the power distribution company or the power distribution authority. In my next video, we will be looking at how to properly add your wiring in a TT ethane system. If you really like this video, give a thumb up, share with others, and subscribe to stay connected in case you have not yet done that. See you in my next video.